Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to our channel Canada PR. We hope you are doing great. Well, in this episode, we'll discuss a new Brunswick announcement. There is no IELTS required, no experience required. So to get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end. Please hit the like and subscribe. And don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So without any further delay, let's jump into the video. To cover positions that are difficult to fill, the Canadian government of New Brunswick has launched a new experimental immigration program. Six businesses will be the inaugural participants in the combined federal provincial New Brunswick critical worker pilot which will provide immigrants with language and skill training as well as other forms of assistance and support. The participating firms are willing to offer on the job training and language assistance, have a solid reputation with the New Brunswick provincial nominee program, have previously hired immigrants, have settled plans in place and have a history of hiring foreign nationals. The six employers are Cook Aquaculture, Group uh, Survey so Inclusive, a Group Westco, uh, Imperial Manufacturing, JDR Wing Limited, uh, McCain Foods. According to Aaron Dern, Minister in Charge of Immigration and Opportunities, NB, New Brunswick has a great track record with immigration related pilot initiatives, which is why we are happy that the federal government has picked our province for this one. Participant firms will gain a lot from filing crucial positions, and job seekers will uh, locate fulfilling employment in a friendly environment. Now let us discuss employer requirements for the critical work pilot in New Brunswick employer must. Have significant uh, commitments to long-term retention and extensive settlement plans for housing and transportation to best assist the effective integration of candidates into their new workplaces and localities. Having an extensive human resource plan in place for locality and uh, hiring qualified overseas personnel as well as for enhancing skills while on the job. Uh, give recruited applicants up to 200 hours of language instruction as necessary and provide applicants with direction and help while they achieve their Canadian secondary education equivalency. According to the NBPNP, the five-year pilot program will be routinely examined and analyzed to ensure that it continues to be responsive to immigration demands and yields the best result for the province. Meaningful employment is regularly regarded as the number one most significant element affecting our newcomer communities' long-term retention, stated Monsef Lakuos, a board president of the New Brunswick Multicultural Council. The critical worker pilot program is novel and exciting because it provides immigrants with employment guarantees together with essential settlement services like language instruction and housing access. We value the program's utilization of a mutually beneficial strategy to help companies and immigrants. Now let us talk about prioritizing applicants to reduce its backlog. New Brunswick is now concentrating on processing Canadian immigration petition from those working in the technology and healthcare industries as well as local uh, foreign grades. In addition to Francophones and New Brunswick graduates, the province gives preference to submission from 12 certain national occupation uh, classification codes. A statement from the New Brunswick Provincial Nominee uh, Program is September stated, uh, Effective now, ONB Immigration is undertaking particular steps to manage the New Brunswick Skilled Worker Stream Inventory through to the end of 2022. The following 12 NOC codes are given priority. First, Technology Occupations 2147 Computer Engineers except Software Engineers and Designers 2172 Database Analysts and Data Administrators 2173 Software Engineers and Designers 2174 Computer Programmers and Interactive Media developers, 2175 web designers and developers, 2281 computer network technicians, 2282 user support technicians, 2283 information system testing technicians, second uh, health related occupations, 3012 registered nurses and registered psychiatric nurses, 3233 licensed practical nurses, 3413 nurse aides, orderlies and patient service associates. 4412 home support workers, housekeepers and related occupations. If a candidate does not fit one of the criteria, the province directs them to the Atlantic Immigration Program. That is all we have for today in this episode. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the entire episode. Hopefully the information is useful to you. See you later in the next episode. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.